G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, well, I'm here in Paul's room. Um, I'll pan around and show you a little bit of what's happened. We've done all the setup. I've spent about two and a half days up here so far, just fine tuning everything, getting everything voiced. We've got the over 70s on the platform still to go under the speaker system. Now I'll wand you over and show you. So this is the, these are the platforms here. And uh, as you can see, there are the all the 70s underneath these uh, timber platforms that Paul's made and they'll be going the, um, the, the speaker system. So I'll give you a bit of a pan around this room and you can really get an appreciation on just how much space we've got here. Um, this is a beautiful big room. It's uh, huge in fact and having the speaker system in this set up with uh, all of the space you know around the around the speakers there's uh, some two meters or thereabouts around uh, around the back of each of the speakers um, obviously here you can see some of the things that uh, you would have seen on the channel uh, the OAD ultra fidelity uh, power amplifiers the four channel power amplifiers the OAD ultra fidelity preamplifier is there Paul has a uh, PS Audio CD Transport and an oldie but most certainly definitely a goodie the Sony CD player there which we're yet to have a listen to but we will definitely do that obviously you've seen the the May KTE the Hollow Audio May KTE there which is uh, now set up now all of these components are set up on Olva EQ uh, component isolation and uh, we've got three under each each of the uh, the DAC modules, we've got three underneath the uh, T2 Lumen streamer, which is in the system. We've got them underneath the the Linkwitz LX uh, um, ASP, and uh, obviously the uh, the preamp. They're really under everything. We're about to put them also underneath the speaker system, and uh, and we'll I'll check back in with everybody, and I'll give you a chance to have a listen to the speakers and I'll talk to you a little bit further about how the uh, speakers are sounding and whether we're getting any difference between uh, having them on the floor like this and then having them up on the uh, on the speaker isolation but it's a beautiful system um, this is some racking here which also looks amazing in this room uh, matching racks for the uh, or amp stands for the monoblocks and uh, and of course the shelving there just all looks a million dollars and we've got all this beautiful timber all the way around this room here you know the seated position and there's my tablet there um, but it is a huge room and uh, and it sounds just absolutely amazing acoustically it is an extremely good room sounding amazing and uh, and I've spent a bit of time getting these speakers voiced now and I'm almost 100% happy with how they're sounding so I'll check back in with you a bit later on and uh, there'll be another video and we'll uh, have a listen to them with the platforms underneath the speaker system and uh, then we might have a chat with Paul and get his thoughts on his brand new speaker system thanks for watching um, hope you're enjoying this uh, there's a lot more to come obviously and uh, but we really are getting making some great headway here in this room and uh, we've got a, a sound system that just really is sweet sounding beautiful lots of spatial cues happening all the way around the room with the speaker system in this room i'm hearing things right out to the side of me and massive amounts of depth with uh with uh layering in the in the sound stage depth is just off the charts um imaging's beautiful and centered so I, I really couldn't be happier from my point of view and what I've done with the system. And I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll talk soon. G'day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, here we are. Um, Paul's room's now set up and finished. All the speakers have been voiced and the system's sounding amazing. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see down there to um, my right. There is um, the plinths that uh, Paul has made out of um, multi-layered ply uh, 
the speaker system is sitting on those now and the um, stack audio all the 70s are in place underneath the speaker system and uh, a bit a bit like um, what I noticed at home with my 100s under the Wilsons there was a, a major sonic improvement in this in the speaker system uh, the bass became a lot more uh, defined there was a lot more uh, impact in the bass nowhere near as much bloom we're on the second floor here and it's a um, rather you know rather large room and uh, on suspended timber floors it was a little bit rolling a little bit fat and bloomy in the in the bottom end but I mean it wasn't as bad as I even thought it was going to be but this has certainly improved things dramatically putting the speaker isolation under the whole system there we also did some other bits and pieces as well to again continue to improve the the speaker system sonically we we've stuck some three mil foam underneath the the two uh, edges of the bridge along along this edge here of the bridge and underneath the actual base unit off the uh, on the plinth we also have uh, stuck a piece of uh, foam 3 mil foam underneath there just so that the speaker system won't walk around on the hard uh, timber plinth and uh, and and we're really really very happy with how that turned out as well because the speaker system really does sit down and and uh, become really again even more stable than it was the only downside to the um, bridge set up in the current form that it's in is on carpet it it, it can rock a little bit forward and back um, it's certainly not doing that on these timber plinths and it's certainly not doing that uh, after we put the foam underneath the, the the bottom sections there so really pleased with that um, there was a really big difference um, as far as the, the way the base and, and essentially everything again did what it did with my Wilson's there was just a a real coming together of all the speakers in the speaker system so that it really all did sound more natural more um, more alive sounding. Uh, that's one of the things I'm noticing about putting these Olver isolators underneath all the speakers that I've heard them under. They they just bring the the system to life. They make the the um, they make the whole presentation sound absolutely believable. And it certainly is the case with this speaker system in this room. Beautiful room acoustically. It's been an absolute pleasure to put this system in for Paul and voice it and, uh, and and essentially put it together from, you know, advising him on the components that that I think would be suited to, to him and uh, and then essentially getting it all in here. Um, I'm flying back uh, this afternoon and um, I'll leave here a very happy man knowing that I've got the system really uh, sounding amazing and... and uh, Helen and, and and he are absolutely blown away by what they're hearing and and that pleases me no end. It's uh, I guess the you know the end of a of a, a a great. It's been going for over twelve months. The 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 putting together of this system, the building of the speaker system you see behind you there, the the change up as far as the baffles were concerned. All of the extra, the, the improvements in the wiring that we've done throughout the speaker system, it, it just goes on and on and on. These are really a, a one-off uh, Linkwix LX521.4 kit. Uh, I don't think there's anything out there that, uh, and certainly nothing I've heard that, that would um, come close to how these are sounding. These really do, uh, they knock my socks off just the same as they're knocking the socks off of the two people that are going to be uh, living with this system in their in their room for many many years to come. So again, I'm, I couldn't be happier with how it's all worked out. Uh, we're uh, we're just um, all chuffed here. It's uh, we're, I'll be leaving here today with a, a big smile on my face and be very happy that um, this is all done now and and uh, Paul and, and Helen can sit back and enjoy the music. As you can see, here is the over 70s on the on the plinth. We'll go around and have a, a good look at those. So this is the new addition to the speaker system that you know changed everything as far as the, the lower octave is concerned. 
and obviously the beautiful aluminium sandwich Panzer Holt baffles the new wiring in place there you can see the speaker looms that run around go into our multi-channel amplifiers here we have a Plexar Cube 8 looking after the power in this system and some wonderful um, Robinson power cables in the system there 